Hi, in this video, I will be talking about what is Typhoon, and how Paga Sa categorized it. Are you ready? Let us begin. According to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration or Paga Sa, about 20 tropical cyclones enter the Philippine area of responsibility every year. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, known as Super Typhoon Yolanda, is one of the deadliest Philippine typhoons on record. Therefore, if we want to prevent the loss of more lives, and lessen the damage to properties, we have to be knowledgeable about tropical cyclone. The term typhoon, is used only in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean. In the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean, and in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, the equivalent term is hurricane. Therefore, a hurricane on one side of the Pacific Ocean, will be called a typhoon, if it crosses into the other side. In the Philippines, we use the same word for all categories of tropical cyclones. We call it bugyo whether it is a tropical depression, a tropical storm or a typhoon. Bugyo is called tropical cyclone by scientists in the Philippines. A tropical cyclone is just a system of thunderstorms that move around a center. A tropical cyclone, with a maximum wind speed of 64 km per hour, is categorized as tropical depression. However, a tropical cyclone with a maximum wind speed of 118 km per hour, is known as tropical storm. While a tropical cyclone, with a maximum wind speed of 200 km per hour, is categorized as typhoon. And a tropical cyclone with a maximum wind speed of greater than 200 km per hour, is categorized as super typhoon. The same word for all categories are often used and referred as Baguio in the Philippines. When a weather disturbance enters the Philippine area of responsibility or PAR, the Weather Bureau begins to monitor it. Pag Asa is tasked to monitor the occurrence of tropical cyclone. It is bounded by the following coordinates. 5 degrees north and 115 degrees east, 15 degrees north and in 115 degrees east, 21 degrees north and 120 degrees east, 25 degrees north and 120 degrees east, 25 degrees north and 135 degrees east, and 5 degrees north and 135 degrees east. The PAR coordinates does not define the boundary of Philippines territory. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more grade 8 science video lessons.